Good morning and welcome. We're happy that you could join us today. At Manas, we continue to push the industry by creating new innovative products that are accessible and empower creators. Today, we're focusing on Polygon, our free motion capture software we released last month. With the tracking data of only a few body parts, Polygon can calculate what your entire body is doing. Through Polygon's real-time retargeting system, your virtual body will precisely match your physical body. Polygon has built-in support for SteamVR tracking and Manus finger tracking gloves. You can easily visualize your body in VR, stream your performance in real time, and record motion capture data for your animation or video game. Polygon comes in three editions, Free, Pro, and Elite. With Polygon Free, you can use your existing SteamVR hardware to stream directly into Unity and Unreal. Polygon Pro comes with a Mana strap set, five tracker adapters, and Mana timecode cable. You can record, review, and clip your recordings in the Manus dashboard with the Pro license and synchronize with your other equipment thanks to the timecode support. Polygon Elite is a customizable package, which you can configure for your specific needs. With Polygon Elite, you're able to add Manus Team VR Pro trackers and Manus gloves to your Polygon set, and it comes with an included Manus charging station. Now, let's talk about tracking. Polygon estimates what your body is doing based on six or eight tracking points. For a six point tracker setup, you can use a VR headset or a head tracker, a waist tracker, two trackers for your feet and two for your hands. For even more accurate upper body tracking, you can use a total of eight tracking points. So we need two extra trackers, one for each upper arm. When using a VR headset, make sure that the headset sits securely and comfortably on your head. If you have a head tracker, you can either orient the strap forward or backward. Make sure that the straps are securely fastened and the trackers are not occluded by your clothing and body. Next, we'll go through some hands-on instructions. To make sure our body trackers track well, we're using four SteamVR base stations angled down, looking at our play area. Before we start working in Manus dashboard, the trackers have to be paired in SteamVR. Once they are paired and OpenVR is enabled in the Manus dashboard, the trackers will appear. With this done, we will continue in the dashboard. Now that we have the trackers on, we can allocate them. Go to the Polygon tab and click on Trackers. You can either assign the trackers manually, one by one, or you can choose Automatic Allocation. For the Automatic Allocation, stand in the center of the room in a relaxed pose for the first step. And then for the second step, stretch your arms forward. Once the trackers are assigned, the polygon avatar will appear. Now, as you can see, polygon is in need of calibration. So let's take a look at that. Click on user and then calibrate. You will see that there are some presets available based on the hardware you're using. We're using our Prime Series gloves together with the Manus SteamVR Pro trackers which will skip the first five calibration steps. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will set everything to none, so you can see all the steps. But if you have some of our hardware, feel free to use any of those presets. The first five steps will calibrate the wrist offsets. We'll start by calibrating the left hand. Hold under the wrist and bend the left hand up and down. Next, we will hold the left elbow and twist the hand left to right. We will do the same thing for the right hand. Hold the wrist and bend your right hand up and down. We'll hold the right elbow and twist the right hand left to right. We'll now hold both hands together, forward, and hold your arms still. Now we have time to review the quality of the calibration. You can decide to go back a few steps if you see the need for it. 
the following four steps are only there if you're using the upper arm trackers in an eight point tracker setup and they calibrate the dimensions of the elbow and shoulders. For the first step, hold the left elbow and stretch your left arm forward. Then hold the tip of your left shoulder and hold your left arm forward. Next, we'll do the same thing for the right arm. Hold your right elbow and stretch your right arm forward. And we'll hold the right tip of the shoulder and stretch our right arm forward as well. The last six steps calibrate your arm span, feet forward direction, your hip position, ankle offsets, neck position and height. We'll start with the T-pose. Feet forward, arms straight and hold still. Next, we will calibrate your hip. Put your hands on a prominent part of your hip bone and hold still. Now we will calibrate the left foot by twisting our ankle. And we'll do the same thing for the right foot. We're now going to calibrate the neck. Put your hands under your, under your ears and hold still. And for the final step, we're calibrating the height. Hand on top of your head and hold still. The first calibration might not be perfect, but don't worry about it. You can easily tweak, you tweak your body dimensions as well as the offsets of some of the trackers. All dimensions are in centimeters and proportions are in percentages. You can either drag or input the input values manually to adjust your avatar. Apart from using Polygon for body animation, you can use extra trackers to track props. As you can see here, we have attached a tracker to a prop using a sticky mount, but you can also, for example, use it to track the position of your camera. If you're a Polygon Pro or Polygon Elite user, you can record your animations directly in the dashboard. Let's record a short animation. Okay, now that we have made a recording, we can play it back, trim it, and we have the option to keep it on looping as well. The animation that we created is saved automatically as a Manus file, which you can easily load again. Once you're happy with your recording, we can export it. There are a couple of options for the export, including the bone naming convention, which makes it easier to retarget it later. With the export finished, let's take a look in FVX review at the animation. With the hardware set up, let's continue in software. We'll start with the Unity plugin. First, download the plugin packages from the Research Center. To install them, open your project and import both the Manus Core plugin and the Polygon plugin. And that's it! You're all ready now to use Polygon. First, drag your character into the scene. Then add component to it 
polygon, and edit that component, populate the bones, make sure that your character is looking all right, set it up, and set the bind pose, and in the animator, make sure that the scaling teaser is turned off. And that's it. This is all you need to do to use Polygon. As you can see, your character is now all set up and animating. If you are using Mana's finger tracking gloves, make sure to add the hand component and hand animator component to your character. Now let's take a look at Unreal. First, download the plugin from the resource center. Then place the Manus folder in the plugin folder of your engine. Enable it in Unreal and restart the application. You'll see that a little icon appeared for the Manus Polygon plugin in the top bar. Activate Manus Tracking to make sure that your polygon data is going into Unreal. Now we have a little sample scene for you to see how the tracking works in Unreal. Now let me show you how to set up your own character and we're gonna do it using MetaHumans. First, open a new level so you have a nice clean slate to work with and go into your MetaHumans folder. Drag the character blueprint into the scene Now that all the shaders are compiled, we can start working on our metahuman. First, add a manus component to your metahuman. Then, create a manus skeleton. And set motion capture to full body with polygon. And depending on whether you have haptic gloves or not, you can enable or disable the finger haptics. In my case, I'm going to disable them. Now, in the created mana skeleton, we're going to set the body mesh for our metahuman. And we're going to turn on the option used for full body tracking with polygon. You have to make sure that all of your bones are properly assigned. Um, MetaHumans have five spine bones. Polygon only allows for three, so we're gonna choose spine 01, spine 03, and spine 05. And also uh, Polygon only allows one neck bone, so we're gonna choose neck 02. Add. And then we're gonna have to assign everything related to arms, so from the shoulders to the tips of the fingers. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Pinky. Pinky. And Pinky. All right, now that we have all of the bones set up, we can save and close this asset. Now go to your MetaHuman's uh, body mesh and create an animation blueprint. And in that animation blueprint, create a node with live link, minus live link pose. In that minus live link pose, choose the skeleton that you created, choose full body with polygon, and make sure that the Manus uh, dashboard user index is the same as in uh, the Manus component. Compile. And as you can see right now, the character, character started moving. We can close that. In animation, make sure that uh, the animation mode is animation blueprint. And in animation class, you can choose the animation blueprint that you just created. And normally we would be done. However, for MetaHumans, there is one additional step that you need to do. So click on your MetaHuman, go to body. And by default, MetaHumans use animation assets to animate. So choose animation blueprint and choose the same animation blueprint that you have 
in the modest component. And that's it. You can now see that your metahuman is moving. And that's it. Now you know how to use Polygon in Unity and Unreal. As you've just seen, Manus Polygon is the perfect tool to get started with full body presence in the virtual world. Whether it's for live animation or telepresence in VR, Polygon enables you to accurately convert your physical movements to your digital avatar. For more information, please visit manus-meta.com slash polygon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.